Hi guys, it's me Jace, and I'm back with another tutorial. Yay! And this time it's for a really cute bracelet. Um, this one, of course, is not secret anymore since I posted this already. And this bracelet, bracelet is called the Acorn Bracelet. It's so cute. I like it a lot. It really does look like an acorn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. See? There. It's so pretty. Anyway, this acorn bracelet was created by a very talented Luma by the name of Rin Luma. Okay? Rin Luma sent this to me, I think, about three weeks ago. And I'm really sorry if it got piled up. Yeah, you know, it got tossed into the pile of the number of bracelets that I just have to do. Plus, there were some holidays and so many other occasions and so here finally and i'm going to film another one right after this so this is the acorn bracelet and this is the Lu the account of rin luma beautiful bracelets you gotta go check her out okay rin luma is the name so now we are going to do acorn it's a bracelet i super super love okay for this bracelet we are going to use three colors the gold will be burgundy um, limited edition for me then the glitter gold will be my glitter gold limited edition and then the top portion the gold metallic gold will be brown for me okay so oh this is uh, the sweet uh, pearl brown okay so all from the rainbow loom web store and so before with, with with no further ado we shall start okay this is the acorn bracelet and the first thing that we will do is to get a cap band on our hook okay and what you do is you just put a cap band on your hook you can use any color you want but for me I'm starting with the gold that's the cap band right there and then we will start with this chain and for that chain we will be using the brown okay so for the first brown you're getting this brown this pearl brown and then you slide it put it on your hook and slide the cap band on it and then put it back Okay, and then you will add two more browns on both sides. So two on the left and two on the right. There, okay. So you do the left one first. You add one brown, then you put it back. Okay, then you add one more brown and loop again that first one. And then put it back. Okay. Then if you have your second hook, you just grab, not, not grab, but put your hook underneath and transfer to your other hook so you can do it from the other one. See? Then you can do the other side. But if you have a hook like this, like mine, like this, like mine, <laughs> like this, then you can just keep turning the hooks. So I suggest you guys getting a double tipped hook because it really helps. Okay, so now you add the other two bands for the other side. You put it on your hook. You loop one band on it. And put it back. And get the other band. Loop one band on it. And put it back. So as far as that portion is concerned, you're already done. That particular portion. That's, that's what we just did. That gold metallic. So we're done with that. We will now go to the next part, which is those glitter golds okay and i will also be using my limited edition glitter gold yay okay so for this portion what we will be doing is we will be putting the gold bands inside so the first thing that you need to do is hold on okay is to put a gold band here and then hook this first one okay like that and then you get another gold band sorry we're, we're putting four so i'll make it ready already so you know so this is one two three four so we'll be placing four in between all of those bands so once you've done that let me just move my ah, move my camera a bit it's gonna fall <laughs> hold on oops okay so once you've done that you will add the next gold my suggestion always is so that it won't be hard you get your gold and then you put it against these two and then you remove that's what i always do because it's faster and then you catch this there and then you look the two browns 
the next two browns. You loop on it and then you put all of them back like that. See? So automatically it's already in there. So you won't have such a hard time. Okay? And then now, you need to transfer because you have to do the other side. So get your hook again and just go through there. Okay? And then just remove the other one. And then you can turn it around. Okay? So same thing as the one before. You just get a gold band. Loop the first band. And then put it back. And then you get your next gold. Put it against that gold you just loop. Like that. See, that's what I do. And then you pull it out. And then you loop the remaining brown. Two browns. There. See? Two. And then you put it back. There. And now you've got them all on it. That's how it's supposed to look. I love these bands. They're so visible. <laughs> okay? So, now that you've got them all there, we will do something that is similar to what we did for the tapestry. And that's something that is similar for the shell chain mail and the other bracelet hook only tutorials, which is crossing over of the bands. And if you remember, my 1 and 3, 1 and 3, we will be applying that here. Okay? So if you watch tapestry, it is the one three step. One three, one three. Okay? So you will get your next color because this color that we completed it's that. That gold. A gold here. Okay? We will now go to this part. The metallic gold. Okay. You will get your first color. Okay. And then loop the first and the third only. So here. The first and the third. So you loop band number one skip band number two and then loop band number three let's move a little there band number three over so that's one and three then you put it back i'm so dulling <laughs> i'm getting cross-eyed because of this camera okay so there you see and then you will repeat the same step for the next one which is this one okay so when I remember in tapestry, I think what I told you to do was to get your hook and then remove these. Right? And then you just hold it like that. So you're just holding it like that and then you put your next band. And then loop one and three again. One. And skip number two and then loop number three. And then you put it back. There. Oops, sorry. Then you put it back together with this one. So it's back on. Correct. Am I right? Okay. So you've got two now. So you can turn the hook around. Since I'm using a double tip, if you have the one I told you earlier, you just scoot under and then remove and then turn this around so now you will go to the other side okay you will again loop one and three so you get your your band you loop number one skip number two and loop number three one and three there and that's done see and you have one last and that doesn't need to be crossed over anymore because it is already 1 and 3 since they're the last two. So what I do now is I just apply what I teach you. Put this against that band. And then remove them all together. And then catch that band outside. And then loop the two. And put it back. There. See? Now you've got them all in the loops in the loops see genius <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> okay so now that you've got that you are now going to put again three bands inside one for these two one for these two 
and one for these two just straightforward so you still get three three of the same color you can actually play around with your colors it's really up to you okay this is easy just put the first band against the first one again and then remove it catch the band and then just loop the two bands two only over and then put it back okay just be good in catching the bands because sometimes if you slip of course it will all fall apart <laughs> so you want to be careful okay next you need to put a band okay so this is the one you just added right so don't include that next is you will need to put a band for these two so what you do you get your next band put it against those three okay and then remove and loop the two over and then put everything back again like that see so now we've got them in there see see they're all there and now you just have the middle to worry about so you just turn your hook around slide to the other side last band put it against the first band and then remove and catch and you will see those are the only two bands remaining that are weird the others are already caught in those loops so those are the only two left so you loop them over Cha -cha! and then you put it back and you got it completed the echo bracelet okay so now the last step is you just loop all of these bands onto one band so loop everything Ta -da! and the ending is just arrange it so they're not confused they're nice and straight there you go okay and then you put it on your hook and you've got your acorn bracelet oh yeah your acorn your first acorn there it looks like a christmas tree <laughs> because of my colors but it's nice it's an acorn see i love it i love it a lot okay so you can change colors even this single chain you can change that you can also change the color of these two layers you can do graduating colors okay that's nice so let's continue let's do another one in case you guys are confused okay so the first thing that you need to do is to add the two bands sorry hold on let me see what did i do the last time close it ah yeah okay so what we will do is we go to the brown again so we need one two three four five so those are five browns one two three four five okay so what you need to do is to put the first brown okay and then slide it there slide it on the brown and then put it back just like that <clears throat> and then you put one brown on your band on your hook and then loop the first brand on it then put it back get the second one loop the first band on it and put it back and then you turn around and go the other side do the other side why do i keep mixing my words it's so weird i think it's because i'm thinking about looking at the camera and looking at the bands looking at the looping and then trying to say something so i am so confused okay so get the next band and then loop the first band only and then close it then get their last loop the first band only and then you close it again okay there you go now we will go to the next gold color okay so the first thing that you need to do is to get four golds or whatever your color is so you just get the first oops the first one put it on your hook and loop the first brown over then put it back 
okay and then the next one you get another gold put it against your gold there and remove all of them and catch the gold that you just added and loop the two following brown colors see and then you just put it back oops there okay and then you can go to the other side oops what's happening no 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 okay there so you go to the other side if you want you can do the inner one first so you just put it against the brown remove it catch the gold and loop those two so you address the one inside first and then you put it back so it's already there inside then you do your last one so it's simple just loop it over and you got them all in there see it's a cool it's a cool okay and now comes the one three step again okay so you get the first maroon or burgundy or what color it is <laughs> okay so you put that there on your hook and then you get number one and three again one and three there put it back okay then you get your next color next well the next band of that color again then we go put it against this two put it against these two and then remove and catch and then you do band number one and band number three again so don't put number two put number three to there and then you put it back there so they're crossed you see so simple you now turn your band your hook around again and do the same steps with the other side so you get the next one and then you loop one and three over and then you put it back and then last step for those two you just put it against that maroon again remove and catch and then loop the two yay we're so fast now oh my god okay hope you guys are enjoying it okay so there you got the crossed over bands already done such a genius okay now you need three more of these because you will put one each on all of those two okay these two you don't add just those two one two three sets so we need those three and hook them so what you do you put this against the first one okay again just remove and catch and then loop the two there and then put it back okay then you need to do the next one so you get your next one move those three put your next band against it and then remove catch and unloop the two there and then you put everything back just hold on to those bands properly so that they don't fall off just like i'm doing see because it's faster if you do it the way i'm teaching you to minimize steps now you just have those last two here okay so turn the hook around and then you can now use your last band put it against the first one remove catch and unloop the last two bands here there and loop and then put them back Ta -da! and now we can close it again yay get the band and then put everything on it put everything on it put everything on it okay so just straighten those bands and oop we have one more what happened oh here there <laughs> and then close it Ta -da! yay acorns yep we they're so cute oh my god they're so cute <laughs> i love the color i love the color combination it's so adorable okay this is so cute see this is, looks so good on a picture <laughs> 
I'll be uploading this immediately. Okay, so let's do it one last time. Before we continue, we go back to the brown. One, we need five. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> okay, so first step. This is for the first step. Same as the beginning, so you guys don't need to worry. Okay, so this is the first step. If this was a cap band, this this one, if this was a cap band, this is your first step. You add the brown, like that, and then you put it back on your hook. So this is the first step. And then you will add two each on each side, two on each side of the brown. It's simple first looping only. So put it on the hook, loop the first band over, put it back. Get the next one. Loop the first band over, put it back. It's that simple. Okay? And then, you turn around, and do the other side. Oops. Go out there. Put the band, loop the first band over, put it back. Put your band, loop the first band over, and put it back. That simple very easy steps and then for the next color you need four of the glitter golds okay and what you will do is you will put four glitter golds for the four sets the first one is for the first band you put it on your hook and you loop only that first one and then you close it next you loop it for the next two browns so you push your gold out put your gold against the ones you pushed out and then catch and loop the next two there and then you close it back there see so you go to the other side now turn your hook around and you do the first band again hook unloop close okay and then the next one you put it against those bands catch unhook and close Ta -da! okay and now comes the one three step one three step one three step okay so we get the first band for the maroon you loop only one and three so one and three and then you put it back you get the next one put it against those two remove catch and then unloop one and three one and three and then put it back see it's so pretty. Then you turn around. And then you get the next one. Loop one and three again. One and three. Then you close it. And then you just have the last two golds. So you get the last color. Well, the last one for this set. And then unloop the two golds and put it back. Ta da! Okay. And now we're going to add the three colors in the middle. Okay, so you need three more. All you have to do is just put it against the first one, remove, catch, and then loop the two. Ta da! And then put it back. And then, for the three, put them all three there because you have to loop the next two. Put it against those three. Remove, hold on tight, catch, and loop the two. Put it back. Ta-da! So cool. And then you turn it around. You get another band. Oh, sorry, no. Put it against the first one and then loop, remove and catch, loop the last two bands. Okay, and then put it back. 
Charan charan. And you've done that again. Okay. So you'll put the get the last one and then hook everything on it. Charan charan. There. That is very easy. I'm sure you guys are able to follow it. Because you guys are good and smart. Okay. So there. Look at that. I find it so adorable. It's so pretty. That is your acorn bracelet. I think it's genius. Very nice. Okay. So if you are finished, all you have to do is just put your click clip there. Right there. Or you can add another brown, like this one. And then that's where you put your C-clip. C-clip. Okay? It's not hard. Put the C-clip there. And then attach the C-clip to this one. That easy. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. The tutorial. And then somebody messaged me. Messaged me. He said, it's not tutorial. It's tutorial. Okay? Uh, I think for Asian countries, or particularly for us, sometimes we say things in a different way. <laughs> So, it can get confusing, but anyway, here are the acorn bracelets, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely love this design. This is by Rinlumer, Rinlumer on Instagram, and this is the acorn bracelet. So, please give Rinlumer a follow, and when you make this bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Jace Alvarez acorn bracelet and rin luma when you make it okay and then comment in the box below and give this video a like so that it'll spread and i'll see you in my next tutorial enjoy your day and remember to smile bye